You know, I'm glad to see that you're making videos, man. Of course, they got us people speaking with knowledge looking fucked up on the videos now. I appreciate everything you said in this video, but to a point, the commercialization of a hook, it wasn't a rap song what Soldier Boy did. Soldier Boy sung a hook over and over and over again. You can't blame him for doing it. If it worked, it worked. It's the haters who've been doing all they shit all these years, like me. I'm not hating on Soldier Boy or anything he's done. I don't like the Superman because it, it was overexposed. In other words, there was a hook, it was catchy, and everybody ran with it, and it got boring. The fact that it was no, it was all like this, it was all energy and no substance. And, you know, he got lucky. From what I heard, that uh, he went to go stay with his dad. Some shit like that. You know, I guess he wasn't getting along with mom. I don't know. He went to go stay with his dad. His dad had a computer. He already made beats and everything. Had a couple friends in the neighborhood. Somebody told him to do his little dances or whatever. And he started getting little hits. And when, you know, he, he created a hook and a little beat. And it blew up. It got him a record contract. He did no more than Chris Crocker crying, leave Britney alone. That's all he did. But he did it with music. He crawled his way to where he's got. Somebody saw him at, at the bus stop, and the bus didn't stop. A limo pulled up. You see what I'm saying? He lucked into his position, and now, you know, like it's your second time around. What are you going to do? And just like any business, you do the same thing you did the first time until it don't work no more. I used to call myself the Everlasting Hook Book because there wasn't a hook that I couldn't make. You know what I mean? It's like, you bring me the music, I can bring you a hook. You know, you know it's like, I could just, boom. I was dope. But me, my attitude, and fuck it. I'm, a, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sing the same song twice. If people wanna fuck with me, they're gonna hear something new every time because I had it like that. My mind was always on a swivel. I could always just, boom, pop up with one. I could probably still do that. If you look at the last couple of videos and shit, people got me ranting. I call it a rant. You know, it's like the old Rudy Ray Moore style, you know, the signified monkey and all that shit. I can still do that. People still have it in them to bring out the music at a drop of a dime. But me being the age I am, who gonna dance and listen to me? No. If I come up with a hook like, um, matter of fact, I was listening to Piles the other day. He's talking about cracker ass, cracker, and some shit like that, and every other word was cracker, and it was nothing but a hook. No substance to me. The, the teeth have fallen out of rap. It's become pop. Now, what better way to destroy a nation? You get it? They boosted that rap shit up, and even the little white kids scream nigga and this and nigga that and nigga this, and, and everything is pre-programmed to defeat a purpose. The word nigga is desensitized because we hear it constantly in our music. And we watch movies and shit on TV. They will cut out everything else, but they'll drop the end bomb. It's commonplace for the word nigga to be said. Now, I really don't listen to too much uh, Soldier Boy or anybody. I'm just tired of hearing that nigga. Yeah, nigga. Shoot that nigga. Kill a nigga. Kill this nigga. Kill that nigga. You know, the state of the records is shitty. You can't blame that on... Uh, Soldier Boy, you gotta blame that on T Pain coming out. I can't sing and let put the voice modulation on. Come on, the only real rapper out there right now, to me personally, is Rick Ross. He's gangster, but like you said, they made gangster popular. It's popular to walk around with guns, smoking blunt, smoking niggas, kill a nigga, nigga this, nigga that. It's popular. You know, it's pop rap. You can grab any old record from the Fat Boys. Matter of fact, I don't know if anybody ever heard of this right, white group. It was a white rap group called the White Boys. They was almost like the Beastie Boys, but they called themselves the White Boys. I don't think they lasted no farther than two albums. And then you got Eminem was the number one rapper in America. 
around the same time Ludacris was blowing shit up with some extreme lyrics that made a lot of sense, but once again, they glorify the bad part of African American life. You don't hear these guys rapping about going to McDonald's and shit, making $7.75 an hour so they mama won't get evicted and shit because she's smoking crack. You don't hear none of that shit. But you hear about the guy flipping his money, getting his sack right, getting his dick and you know, all that stuff, tucked in his freak on and all that. You hear about that. Negativity sales. If somebody comes out with a, 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 a popular positive rap song, you'll hear it for about a month. Oh man, that's weak, man. He talking about going to school. That shit gets snatched so fast, it'll be pitiful. That is the state of hip hop. You can say anything in hip hop now, as long as you're degrading black people, black women, the black situation. Yeah, talk about your Cadillac that you got on 20s and, and all that, 22s, and you know, it, talk about nonsensical shit, and we can get you a billion dollars. We can make you seem as if you're the richest person on the planet. But we all know the true people in hop don't really make no money. I said it. Because you belong to the record company. You belong to your promoters. You belong to people who are allegedly supposed to be putting money in your pocket. But they are taking money from your pocket to do menial shit that you could probably do yourself with a computer program. A friend of mine signed a record contract. And um, he signed for purgatory. That's how ignorant some people are. You never heard him singing. You never heard his records. You never heard nothing. He signed a deal for purgatory. Can't get out of the deal. So he can't sing shit. He's making beats for the next people. So you look at the aspect, the situation, and what you can do with it. If I come up with a hook right now and you sang four or five words after the hook and if somebody else sang four or five words after your five, four or five words and everybody liked it, it all depends on which ass we kiss after that to see how big we can get with it. The whole reason I got on YouTube was to try to push my music. Not anything new, all my old shit. Because I still have that same attitude that I'll never sing the same song twice. As old as I am, I'm still looking for my break. When I was a young kid, they offered me some change one time. I was offered some change. But at the time, I thought I was better than the change that was offered. Therefore, 20 some odd years later, I'm sitting here talking to you about Soldier Boy. Ice-T, he got lucky also. From what I heard about his story, that's getting ready to do, uh, Beach Street or some shit and they had some dude that was supposed to be a rapper or whatever and I don't know did the dude get sick or some shit happened and Ice-T happened to be fuck it I can do that and he did it see the thing is pimping and hustling and rapping see the greatest pimp has his self for a hole because if you can't sell yourself how can you get anybody to believe in you so Ice-T was truly a pimp. He pimped out himself to get that first couple of contracts. And he did that. And he hustled. And he and he, he told the stories from the street. But he failed to realize that same struggle at which he took to get to where he at. You can't diss some other kid, a child, for trying to do the same thing. You can say the child may have turned into something you helped start. But you can't say that kid killed it. Because the powers that be have killed it. Whenever you can say three or four things and shake your head and do a little dance and shit and they call that music, you have to blame the producers and the record companies for changing the way music is. In other words, that wasn't music 25 years ago, but it is now. R&B and hip hop, they fused it. Why? They think they can get some more out of it. But look at the big picture, brother. You me and a handful of other people, a handful of us, are the last ones left. People cannot understand because they're too busy thinking about themselves. Let Soldier Boy go. Fuck it. You're right. Let that shit go. Ice-T knew better. Soldier Boy will learn, and I'm still going to be waiting to try to get my deal. Thank you, man, for this video. A lot of people can't understand it because they're simple. Oh man, you hate no nice tea. You hate no soldier boy. 
they're hating on you. And I know you understand what I just said. Hey, man, I'm glad to see you back. You've been tubed. Keep up the good work, because don't nobody do like you do, and can't nobody do like we do. Oh, yeah. There's a whole bunch of clowns out there, and I'm glad you ain't one of them. Have a nice day, player. See you later.